What's good YouTube, this is your boy Drake and I'm back here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I won the Mobile One event. But anyway, as you guys see on screen, this is a story all about how Mike Wing turned my life upside down. Hey yo, what the fuck? Mike Wing got on the Twitter and said there was no hot fix, no changes to gameplay at all. But when I logged into the game, my game started crashing every time I got on and every time I played. So I didn't know what was going on. 2K support didn't help. I had to go myself and find a solution. I had to play a quest. Well, actually do a quest. You can't play one. But I did the quest. And then after that, everything started working. I could start finishing online games and stuff like that without no crashes. But 2K, I, ha I was at GOAT status going on 18, 20, 30 streaks. And for you guys to blame me and say, to say that I quit every time it crashed and it lowered me from gold status all the way to black kind of hurt me because I have to grind all the way back and you've been adding losses to my record for no reason. Things that I can't even control. So going into this event, everybody should have known it wasn't going to work right. It wasn't going to work properly. I tried to get in there with my team. We squatted up, we went through the door and all of a sudden, we were in a squad, but we're not in the same server. And it doesn't even make sense, 2K. How can we be in a squad, but not in the same server? So because we kept trying to join up, minutes would pass, 10 minutes already passed. I'm like, oh my God, we're not going to be on time for this event. So a miracle happened. Finally, me and one of my teammates got in the same server. So I'm trying to invite the other teammate. I'm like, maybe you'll spawn in the Mobile One Center. Maybe that's the solution to all our problems. No, he spawned all the way at the subway. What happened to an NBA 2K22 current gen or next gen you used to spawn right next to your teammate? That would have solved all the problems. Teammates would be in the squad, they would be in the arena, and everything could be ready to go. But no, Mike Wing has to make it difficult. The events never work. So we keep trying, we keep trying, we keep trying. Then all of a sudden, we get a, something on our screen that says, the, no, the mobile one has ended. How did it end? And it just started 20 minutes ago. So you're telling me the event didn't work properly. But what's the point? I don't even get it. You guys tested the event earlier and it didn't work. How do you test an event and then not make sure that it works properly? Like I see YouTubers getting into it fine. But I mean, like, if you're only looking for, like, entertainers and certain YouTubers and not the whole community or people that watch or just play the game when they're bored, how are we supposed to get, like, the same respect? Like, you guys didn't ban Aiden Ross when he streamed the game early, but you guys banned Nadex. You guys answer your Twitter to certain YouTubers and stuff, but you don't answer to, like, random people. Mike Wing does tweet back to people but it doesn't have anything to do relating to the game. And also, why do we have to contact 2K support when 2K support doesn't even have real people? All your bots are trash. They give trash advice and they don't, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. 2K needs to hire more people as Agent Zero said. But bottom line, if there's a problem for the community, you guys should address it and handle it. Not just update the game and not give us patch notes or say anything. You guys, or claiming it's the block list, too many friends, this and that. None of that is true. Like when it's just something wrong with your servers, it's like the PS5 can't handle it. Like I'm walking in park after I get out the mobile one uh, center and my character is lagging, the game's stuttering. I go to theater mode, I can't open the menus. There's so many problems with the game. I'm shooting my shot. My shot meter seems like it has 99 different shot changings, bro. Like every time I shoot the ball, the timing is always different. And I'm playing on early. Like get rid of that early, late, very late, all that stuff. Like I know you guys want skill gap in the game, but it's like stop listening to these YouTubers. These YouTubers want to make themselves look good. They're going to adapt to their environment and try their hardest. And you're going to be like, oh, why don't other people try their hardest? Some people go to work. Some people don't want to play that hard. It's a basketball video game. I understand white should never go in. But it's like when I'm shooting this all day and my timing is just getting messed up over and over again, I just I play with the meter. 
in all my clips, I play with the meter because it's always different. Very early, early, late, needs to go. Bring back old jump shot timing. And I didn't even win the Mobile One event. If you're here for that, you can go. I didn't even win because we couldn't even get into it. It was too laggy. We couldn't get in the same servers to load up and squad up. And I just wanted to get on here and address the problems. And it's because small YouTubers aren't even recognized. We don't even have a voice. But I'm going to end off right here. You boys have a nice day. Thank you for listening. Draco out.